So here's the uh, air assist plate on the bottom of it. And uh, I wanted to show how I'm routing my hose and it has changed over time. So some of the videos are gonna be out of date in this regard. The plate hasn't changed. It's, it's the same plate that I, uh, I guess it was version 11 or whatever that I finally settled on. But that is that plate, that has not changed. What I've been doing is I've been tweaking the rest of the system. For instance, one of the first tweaks I did was an edit to my uh, uh, hose management cap. Uh, the uh, holes in them were smaller and kind of bound up the hose and you know they just it just didn't work out so ended up putting multiple locations on there opening them up <clears throat> the current one that we'll be shipping to you guys is the, the, that, that space that lets you get a hose in is going to be a little bit smaller I found that that actually works better so then going from there the hose goes back toward the front of the machine and it is now on this clip here this is a perpendicular clip the clip goes in and just connects up to the top like that and the hose goes through it and goes down underneath and then as it goes underneath there is another set of uh, clips and these are parallel clips they slip on the same way you can see that they slip on the same way but the hose goes parallel with the machine's base now for right now i've got it plumbed around and it goes down into the back space because I've got a little bit extra that I'm kind of saving for, for a little bit just to make sure everything's cool. But it comes back up, but normally it would it would come from up here and would just go straight into that hub. And so right now the hose goes down in there and goes around to the hub. Uh, but, oh, light went out. But uh, from the hub, then there's a hose that goes into that pre-existing slot. When you take this base off, it's not going to hurt anything because that slot's still there. The slot is actually in the base too. So, the, you know, you can just pull the, the plate up and it's fine. Now, one thing to think about, let me close this again so I can get the light on. One thing to think about with this one is, you know, <clears throat> the hole that you put stuff down in it now is kind of obstructed by this. Most things you'll be able to get around it, but if you have a larger piece of material, you know, you might have to think about what you're gonna do there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just simply gonna pull this out of here like this and pull it aside so I can get whatever I need to get in there. So that's what I'm gonna do on that. And the way I've got this set up now is there's a little bit of an extra loop and then I'm just going back around to the outside of that one <clears throat> to mount the hose that goes back here and that little bit of loop right there allows the laser head to point to go up and down and then this it also gives me some adjustability if I feel like I need it you know for whatever reason so there you have it uh, Herb from Big Twin Life and this is our air assist system thanks for tuning in